hut where we watch all the different types of lasers that we have do many different kinds of applications. And if you want to see some sort of different application or something weird done on a laser, just let us know. Put it in the uh, comments below or just email us or whatever, contact us. Today we're using our PS48, that's 48 by 36 inch Pro. And we have a 120 watt CO2 tube in it. And sticking with this week's theme, which is kitchen, we are doing some glass cookware. We're going to do the bottom of it. Nick brought some uh, cookware in and I chose a special design for it. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, you've just been poisoned. We'll be on the bottom of the glassware for Nick. So, you know, if he cooks for somebody and then uh, they finish it, they see that at the bottom after they clean it, that would be pretty cool. So we're going to start this right now, see how it turns out. If you notice from the design, it's actually uh, mirrored vertically, and that's because we're doing the bottom of the dish. And this is kind of common for things that you would like uh, for, to see from the back side. So if you're doing a mirror and you want to remove the coating on the back rather than engrave the mirror, you would just have to mirror it vertically. So you can't read it one way, but once it's turned around, you can read it. Interestingly enough, the CO2 laser actually creates microfractures on the glass and that's what you see when you engrave the glass. Now you cannot get this with a fiber laser or a UV laser, so it's kind of special for a CO2 laser. Like I said, engraving glass, it creates micro fractures. It's not actually creating a major depth into the glass. So what you're seeing is the frost of those micro fractures. And if you use too much power when engraving glass, you will start cracking it or those micro fractures can get so big that they actually start falling off and the output doesn't look too good. One more tip before this guy's done is it's very hard to see your actual red dot diode and line up a project like this glassware. So what I like to do is put a cloth over the glassware and then run the perimeter. And that way your air assist is going to trace inside that cloth and you're going to be able to see where your design's going to be 
and that way you can get around not seeing that red dot dial. Now I'm not going to lie, that looks pretty good. Our power settings are in the description if you guys have a uh, 48 by 36 Pro 90 watt or just a 90 watt in general. Um, so it's going to look pretty, oh I almost broke it. Uh, I think that's pretty awesome. Um, you could always mask this and tape it if you don't need it to be cookable, but you can actually use this guy. So I think until next time, keep cooking. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like those videos, please subscribe. We got more videos of me over here. <laughs>